Hi, it's Dr. Spears with DrPremed.com. I hope everybody's doing great. And I know right now it's a very stressful time of the year for pre-med students who are trying to get into medical school because you have exams. You have a lot going on and you want to get top grades and you just feel there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of pressure. Are you being competitive? Are you doing all the right things to make sure that you get into medical school so you become a doctor? And actually, I'm just working with some of my students that I'm working with throughout the year to help them get into medical school. I wanted to share something with you that I shared with them. And to regards to your responsibilities as a pre-med student right now when you have all of your exams, you need to do in the words of an MDPH adcom from the University of Chicago Pritzker School of Medicine. The MCAT is a test you want to take once and only once. And also, you want to protect your GPA at all costs. Oftentimes, I get emails from students telling me that I have a 2.5 GPA. I know I've made some mistakes. There are some personal issues going on, and I didn't take school seriously. But now, what can I do to get into medical school? Obviously, they know they need to go to a post back program. But when you have a 2.5 GPA, that's going to be an uphill battle because even the post back programs, typically, they're going to say that you want to have a 3.0 GPA or better. And there's not a lot that you can do with that. And when it comes to your GPA, that's one of the hardest things to improve. It's like pushing a rock up a hill and it's a boulder. It's going to just keep rolling back down on you no matter how hard, no much how much effort you put into trying to get that boulder off the top of the hill. It's extremely difficult to do. So what you should do is make sure you don't have a bad GPA in the first place. If there's signs that you're not performing well in your class, that you need to meet with the professor, you need to get a tutor, you need to do whatever is possible to preserve and protect your GPA. So the students that I'm working with, they have definitely above a 3.85 GPA. I know that. So they're like really strong students. And I was telling them with the schedule that we have for you and with your exams, now is not the time to focus on the MCAT. Step away from the MCAT. Take a break from studying for the MCAT and focus on your midterms, whatever they call these exams that you have right now for school, and make that a priority. And even with all the extracurricular activities that you're doing, I told them you need to step away from that. Cut back your time and focus on what's important right now, and that's going to be doing well in your exams and make sure you're maintaining that very strong competitive GPA that you work so hard to achieve in the first place. And that's advice that I would have for any student when you're coming to finals, midterms, or anything like that. You need to sacrifice everything for that GPA and you need to shut out anything else that's going on. You need to pause the MCAT studying, you need to pause the extracurricular activities, and you need to just focus on the school work that's in front of you and do well on those exams. And then once those exams are over, then you can return back to your regular program activities, extracurriculars, getting ready for the MCAT. But it would make no sense to try to juggle all these three different activities, schoolwork, MCAT, and extracurriculars, and just go down uh channel where you're facing burnout, you're stressed out, you're not making progress with anything, and you just feel that you're juggling too much. That's what you need to do. And if you follow the strategy and you do this, you're going to find out you're going to be a lot more successful on everything that you're doing because you're prioritizing what's important now. You're focusing in on that. You're having a laser focus on what you need to do. And you're ultimately going to be happier, you're going to be more successful, and you're going to feel good about things, and you're going to have better grades, better scores, and you're going to be a more fulfilled person who's not going to be facing burnout or just at your wit's end. So that's what I want you to do if you're 
in this period of getting ready for exams and you just feel like there's just too much going on and you can't handle it all. So if you do that, you're going to be successful. And I always encourage you to make sure that you visit drpremed.com for more tips, advice, and strategies to make sure you're well positioned to have your most most success in being a well-regarded applicant who ADCOM look favorably upon and who is ready to get into medical school so that you can realize your dreams of becoming a doctor. Again, this is Dr. Spears with DrPremed.com.